Good morning, everybody. Uh, we are Search and Rescue Cards here. Uh, we are a card shop out of Lexington, Kentucky. My name is uh, Brian, and I'm the owner of this uh, card shop. And I've just been thinking about doing some YouTube videos, but um, I've had a lot of my customers reach out to me and says, hey, can, um, can you do some educational ones too? And I thought about it and I was like, oh, okay. Just a little background on me real quickly. Uh, I've been collecting since I was a little tyke, probably heard that millions of times, but I've been collecting roughly about 50 years. Um, still love it, still as passionate and loving it as much as the first time I cracked my first uh, pack open, it was given to me by my great uncle. And my great grandfather is the one that taught me about sports, the love of sports and all that stuff. Um, what this video is gonna be about is how to start collecting let's start from the basics and that's like that's a really broad question but it's really a simple answer this is how you start to collect the very very first thing you got to think of is what do i enjoy what sport are you a baseball fan a football fan basketball soccer ufc there's so much out there that's the beauty of um of cards okay for instance the reason i say that is i'm a, a baseball fan and i love me some football so I, I watch those sports all the time i'm engaged in them um they're they're i have a passion for them so the reason i bring that up is i always try to tell people when they first start out with only collect what you love and use me example i'm a huge 49er fan so start with 49er cards. The reason for that is you will be more engaged in your cards if you are collecting something you love and you're willing to learn more about it because you're engaged in it. You have an investment, emotional investment into it and it's passionate. And or collect a player too. I'm a huge Nick Boza fan. So click Nick Boza. It doesn't matter what other people like or don't like. It's called a PC, personal collection. You collect what you want, not what I want or anybody around you. You know why I say that? Because Nick Boza is, is hardly any value in him, but he's an amazing guy. He's fixing to go. I believe he has every potential to end up in the Hall of Fame, but he's one of my favorite players on my per current team. And the reason I bring that up is if, if you're engaged in more, you're going to learn more. There's just way too much stuff out there and you'll feel overloaded, um, overcome. And you'll feel like, man, I can't learn this sport. But if you're engaged in this thing you enjoy, you'll be wanting to search it out more. Also, when you make a mistake, which we all make in um, the collecting, but I really never say it's a bad thing, but if you collect things, and you make a mistake, you're looking at it and go, oh, okay, what did I make a mistake on it? But ultimately, you end up with a card that you enjoy because it's from your team or your favorite player. So let's say, for instance, I bought a card for $15, but realistically, it was a $5 card. Okay, so whatever caused that, I can take this moment to learn why did I end up spending $10 more? But, and ultimately, I'll put it in my collection and I realistically, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I lost 10 bucks, but I still got a card I appreciate and I'm gonna enjoy for the rest of my life. The other thing is, you're willing to tackle, why did you make that mistake? Another thing is, you'll hear this a lot in the hobby. Oh, I bought this card. He was super hot at $25. You bought this card. It was a great investment. And for whatever the gods of cards out there, that guy ends up sliding down to two bucks. And that's happened to all of us. And you'd be like, oh my God, I invested in this guy. I spent $25. Now the cards were $2. Yeah, you lost out. But what ultimately happened was you still ended up with a card that you in love and enjoy. It's not bringing as much finances, but you can overcome that because you still have the joy of that card you attained. And once again, you're going to be more invested into learning why did that player fail? 
or did I not see something that he or she was doing? And that's how you learn and you're okay with it because you ultimately, your mistakes are okay because you end up with something you enjoy. So I'm going to say it, do not like Dallas Cowboys. So let's say I invest in um, the brand new number one pick for Dallas Cowboys. And I'm brand new to things, but everybody tells me this young buck, let's call him Bob Snow. Bob Snow's number one draft pick out of Ohio. He's going to Dallas in the first round, which he did. I'll collect him, collect him, collect him. I can't stand Cowboys. And let's say I collect in him. And I'm just starting off with. And next thing you know, that dude totally stinks. Can't catch it. Got butter for hands. Everything sliding around. And he's in the doghouse. Those $50 cards I was buying are now not even worth five bucks. Well, guess what happens? I'm really not happy. I got a player I cannot stand of a team I do not like. I'm out $45. It's a catastrophe. I'm more than likely to just get angry about it. And ultimately, you might quit the hobby before you've learned to enjoy it and find out what why it could be fun for you. Okay? And vice versa, if you were a Dallas fan, and Mr. Bob Snow doesn't work out, hey, guess what? I still got him. And that's a plus. So like for instance, I can I can show you my collection. I have so many 49ers that did not make it even past um, training camp, but they're part of my history of my team. Because when I flip through my binders and enjoy my pictures I'm looking at, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this guy. Man, he was on our team, just poor guy, just couldn't make it for whatever fortune. Um, Football gods out there just didn't rain on him or just we just didn't see this or what. I still enjoy the card because he's part of my team's history. That's why I'm going to enjoy it. And that's why I tell you, first things first, collect what you like, okay? The next thing, after you figure out who do you want to collect or what team, the next thing is walk into a card shop if you have a card shop around you. See what they have. Get the environment. But we, what I'm saying is that go to a card shop that you feel comfortable with and that they make you feel that you're part of their community, okay? And you'll be amazed uh, at the wealth of knowledge that you can find at certain card shops. For instance, if you come to mine, um, I'm willing to teach you things. Do I know everything? No, I'm not saying that. But I can pass on my experiences, my joy of the hobby. And so that way you can go forward and collect too and I can help guide you a little bit when you have come in with questions and the reason i say enjoy your shop you want to feel comfortable because hey this is silly i should know everything or a, a stupid question there's no really no stupid question you're not going to learn something unless you ask the question and i still ask questions all the time in the hobby i'm constantly just thriving for knowledge but the thing is you want to go to a shop that you feel comfortable with and you have a shop owner that you want to ask questions with and you want and that person is willing to teach you so you can grow in the hobby just like they did and i want more people to come into my hobby that means my hobby is growing and as other people is getting love and enjoyment out of this and a lot of times this is a stress reliever man i i was a nurse dude i come home so wigged out mine just like fried stressed and that's normal so i go into my um card room pull out my cards sort them look at them enjoy them that's my stress relief that's like whoa, 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 moment you know um so anyways collect what you love find a shop you like and collect now collect what you can afford too don't start out looking for bangers right off the bat i i would personally recommend you start off a little slow go to the value box pick up things you like okay and, and collect them and figure out what you like what product you like what you don't like and um i'm gonna try to keep it really simple because we can go out to a whole different um barrage of things and <clears throat> like i said because you're talking about confusing look at this just give you a little example uh tops update just came out foam and chrome came out five stars came out blaster boxes i just named freaking six items and you telling me uh, that wouldn't overwhelm somebody? Should I buy this? Should I buy this? 
Or better yet, should I buy a single pack of hobby boxers? Should I blow my money on a jumbo? What do I do? Pump the brakes, man. Start off with the things you enjoy. Collect a little bit. And ask your shop owner if, if you have any questions, okay? <clears throat> we'll help guide you. And I'm not going to mold you. I'm going to guide you because I want you to become the collector you want to be. I'm just here to be, I guess you can say the guru. <laughs> I'm the guy sit, sitting on a rock watching you walk by called life on your little journey of collecting, okay? You can turn to me and say, hey, man, here's a question. And I'll tell you what I think and what I've learned from my journey. And you never know. You may be sitting on that rock one day and I have to walk by. Believe me. I do look for gurus on the sideline and go, hey, man, I, what about this? Um, so don't feel overwhelmed, okay? Collect, 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 have fun. We're going to keep this really simple. Um, and I'm going to go forward with more things of how to grow in your hobby. If you have any questions you like to talk about um, learning, I'm going to try to do more educational videos and on this channel we're also going to do some reveals all this other stuff but i'm going to try to have more educational things once again let's um, talk about what we learned keep it simple when you first come into hobby collect your favorite teams or your favorite team uh, or your favorite player start with that have fun don't worry about investments because you will lose your hiney as quick as you can shake it worry about collecting for fun right off the bat after you get your feet wet young grasshopper as they say then take the next path whatever may lead you there wherever you might go but we'll talk about the next step in another video um i'm gonna try to make this cat as a journey kind of thing but if you guys want to know talk about any subject related to um the hobby um leave a comment below and i'll look at it and figure out how I can make a video about it, okay? The most important thing in this hobby, have fun. If you're not having fun, get out of it. But have fun and collect within your bu budget, okay? And welcome to the hobby. It's a fun and beautiful thing. There's a wonderful community. You're going to be amazed how huge this community just opens up and everything, okay? And anyways, I'm going to keep this short. You guys take care. Peace out.